My name is Nancy Laguerre, but Frère Paquin of Canada gave me a new name, which is now La Bonté. Um, I've been in the teaching for over 10 years, and what brought me to the teaching was the name, the book called Vers la Civilisation Solaire which would in English means toward the solar civilization. When I picked up, that book was lent to me by a friend. And when I got this book, I started to read it and I could not put it down. So I read to the end. Then I was so interested that I even copied the book twice. That's how much I love that book. And after finishing the reading the first time, I wanted to know where I could join. And I spent the night doing that. And um, the rest is history. Um, it, it, I guess I was invited in by the master himself because after reading the book, I, I, be, I somehow got connected because I had dreams. I had um, him, um, at one time I saw him in my dreams where he has a cane with, a, with a, a, a crystal at the end of it. And he pointed that crystal towards me. And I have never ever seen light like that. It was just amazing. And I had other dreams of the master, and um, which keeps me going. And um, so far, it's been a real adventure, and it's always challenging. And I can tell you all that I am not alone. I am always, always well supported. And everything went like crazy fast. It was like once I, I read the book, it, things got a little bit clearer for me in every way, I would say. And seeing him in my dreams and all that happened really, really quick. And as a matter of fact, it was 10 o'clock at night when I went to a, to a, when I found out how I could register, it register myself into the, pro the, the, the community. It was like 10 o'clock when I found a, a, a pharmacy open to, to send the, the, the applications and, and everything else that was needed for me to become a member of this beautiful, beautiful community. And um, like I said, the rest is, to, is history. And uh, I love where I am and I would not have changed anything. How would I say change my life? I was never, uh, a, 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 I'm a whole load, a whole lot more peaceful. I am more peaceful than I ever been. And I am, um, I, I don't even go as far as saying I am more loving. I can tolerate people a little bit more, which I did not have. <laughs> yes, I have more tolerance. I have um, a little bit more patience than I used to. So um, I am still working on having, getting a more, getting a little bit more, more become more loving, more patience and more um, understanding, more compassionate to, towards people. So I'm still, it's still a process and I'm working on all of them. I, what stood out the most to me in the book, which I read in French, which was um, to Vers la Civilisation Solaire, was how alive he brought the sun towards um, like compared to God, the sun became the creator. The sun became 
the light, the love, the, 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 the warmth, and everything in between. And that, to me, was amazing. Like, I never thought, I never looked at the sun like that way before. So it was a new thing for me. And um, that was the most important thing in that book to me, to see how um, alive the, the sun can be, to, in words. And I thank you. This is the book that I mentioned before that I have read. And uh, I wish, I really truly wish I had the time to read the whole thing to you. And so you can know what I know and feel the way I did feel back then when I read it. But in any case, you can definitely try to find it and read a couple of pages and you will feel probably as inspired as I was. Since I cannot read the whole thing to you, I will read you a little bit of it, a, a page or so. And it goes that way. Perhaps you will say, that's all very fine, but it may take centuries to replace all our old particles. Not necessarily. You can accelerate that transformation by the intensity of your love. The more you love light, the more you will attract it to you. The majority of human beings are as totally unconscious of the sun as they are of their food. They never worry about how they eat. Even if they spend meals talking, gesticulating, or arguing, they think that their body will absorb and sort out the elements it needs to function correctly. And, of course, it is true that the body does this. But what they do not know is that their food contains subtle elements and forces drawn from space and that it is only if they eat consciously that they can be absorbed. These elements, which belong to the etheric, astral, and even to the mental planes, can help us to improve our thoughts and feelings and our behavior. This is a fact. But on condition that we eat intelligently and in all consciousness. And it is exactly the same thing when you go to the sunrise. If you sit there and think of all kinds of other things, you will receive, receive some slight benefit on the physical level from the sun's light and warmth. But you will not receive the subtle elements that could help you in your spiritual evolution. If you are conscious that through His rays, the sun is sending you His own love, wisdom and beauty, His life then you are preparing yourself to receive these gifts. You are opening up thousands of little doors through which the sun's rays can come in and bring you their treasures. And if they and in this way you will you feel your whole being with the benefits of the sun. Now you know why it is important to be conscious of what the sun represents. It is only on this condition that you will be in a position to receive the elements that will help you to penetrate the laws and mysteries of nature and to appreciate peace and happiness. And it goes on. The more you read, the more you like it, the same way I did. Thank you. Si la